Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourmarketing.com and I am uh, I wanted to talk to you today about bright shiny object syndrome. <laughs> I tried doing a Facebook on this the other day, but what's funny is that I'm so in the midst of bright shiny object syndrome myself that it came out really lame, I must admit. The video came out totally disorganized and uh, probably pretty funny. I don't know if you watched it, but uh, I want to, it's a serious problem. It's a serious problem, bright, shiny object syndrome. And a lot of people don't talk about it. They, they joke about it, but it's true. I mean, I've been in business for 15 years, over 15 years, and I still get bright, shiny object syndrome. Mostly now because I have so many projects on my plate. So if you have projects that you want to complete, right? Or if you're a starter and not a finisher, that's me, right? And a few of my clients are like that too. I love to get new ideas and start new projects, but then I lose momentum with them and I want to move on to the next fun thing while somebody else finishes up this project, right? Uh, that's one way to experience bright, shiny object syndrome uh, is to keep jumping from idea to idea and not really finishing or monetizing some of the things you've already started. Not necessarily a good plan, right? So... Uh, the next thing with bright shiny object syndrome is when you're purchasing things, right? You're investing in things, which can be really great as a business owner. We want to invest in different trainings and knowledge and programs and things to help us get to the next level or get outside our comfort zone or change our mindset or give us a new skill set or something like that. That's great. Just I would caution you to know the order of importance that you really need to learn certain things in, right? So some things you might need to learn right away. Some things are probably six or 12 months out for you and you don't need to know it right now. Instead, you might wanna invest your time or money in something that's more practical, tactical right now, depending on where you are with uh, cash flow and making money. So hopefully this is making sense to you more than the video that I did uh, a couple days ago. But uh, seriously, it's, it's um, yeah, I mean, bright shiny object syndrome to me means anything that's keeping you from your immediate goals and your immediate tasks. And sometimes it's, it's we have things on our to-do list, right? This is my current little to-do list. It's a big old sticky note. <laughs> uh, it's, it's keeping us from things uh, we're procrastinating things on our to-do list because we either don't want to do them, don't know how to do them, don't really like to do certain things, or just aren't even sure where to start with a particular project or task. So we get this bright shiny object syndrome with either going and doing this new fun thing over here or creating a, you know, in my case, I, um, I have a couple different projects right now. I need to finish my web pages because we're moving some technology and some different web pages that I wasn't planning on moving, frankly, this month. And I need to focus my time on that. But because it was already done, it's like it's it's kind of like writing your book and not wanting to read it after it's done. That was me. Um, <laughs> until way later, right, when I actually need the content again. Um, but I need to finish the website project. And my team is waiting on me to do certain things. And uh, <clears throat> so that's one project. I'm also doing, launching a brand new book publishing program. Uh, it's a short term, 30 day program with one of my clients and friends, uh, Rich Green. And uh, it's really just to show people how to get their book written and published very, very inexpensively. I am no longer going to be spending thousands and thousands of dollars to get a book done and published, okay? So I want I have a few more books in me, and I want to get some books out at least one a year, if not more, and I want to do it as inexpensively as humanly possible, frankly, because they don't really, they don't make you a lot of money selling the book, right? So the book, you just use it as a business tool and a marketing tool to sell into other programs, products, and services. So we don't want to spend a lot of time. I spent six grand on my book, no more. So I have this book publishing program that I'm doing, uh, like I said, and you can find out more um, on, well, Facebook, I've been posting it, or in my emails, right? Um, or I'll put a link below the video here too, so you can find out more. It's only, we're only going to do it one time and then we're going to box it up for do it yourself. Uh, so it, you have to jump on it pretty quickly here. Um, and then I've got, um, the other project. Well, I want to do the book myself. So I have a book that I'm trying to get done too. So I'm going to be actually doing the program while I'm 
hosting the program <laughs> to get the book done in January or at least for this um, by February at the latest so that's exciting and then I have a new program that I wanted to start in January it's probably gonna be put off I also have a podcast I wanted to start in December but that has to get put off because of all the website stuff so if this is your life too, <laughs> right? I know I'm not the only one here. And so I'm just confessing that I am just like you. I have real life uh, roadblocks, real life procrastination, and real life things that get in the way. All we can do, honestly, if you aren't on the time frame that you wanted to be with certain projects is, number one, you can laugh about it. <laughs> you can, I mean, I do. I laugh at it this time, at this point, right? And, um, and I just have to accept it and let it let it let it go the, of the fact that it has to be perfect. It has to be now. It has to be whatever. And I would rather put out a polished program, product, or service, or podcast, or whatever, rather than a half-ass one, frankly. So, and when I'm not ready, I want all the marketing ready. I want everything in the back end ready. I don't want to just bleh, like go out there with a podcast. I don't mind doing bleh videos every once in a while, right? Because there's so many of them on YouTube. But I don't want to do that with some of these projects. And I don't encourage you to do that either, necessarily. Um, except when it comes to things like this, like this video tip and this quick little video, um, you know, you just need to get started with video. So that's, that's a whole different subject. <laughs> but going back to Bright Shiny Object, it's that squirrel, you know, that thing that happens to us. And the only thing I can tell you is you have to figure out a way to stay structured and focused with your time. Right, so I use Google Calendar. Um, it's an online calendar, and I can color coordinate. I can block out time. I have uh, I show clients how to do that because a lot of people that's what the biggest that's why you're not getting a lot of stuff done is because you don't know how to manage your time effectively, and or you don't know how to say no to certain things, um, or how to prioritize the right things in order of importance. So I, I'm happy to talk to you about that. I I get that life gets in the way, but we still have to keep plugging along with our goals, even if we have to possibly shift the dates and timelines and things a little bit to compensate. You don't want to make yourself sick by staying up 24-7 to get something done. It's not worth it. Trust me, I've done it, and, um, and I don't recommend it. So um, I'm trying to help alleviate maybe some of that pressure that you could be feeling this holiday in getting more done. I mean, when the holidays are around, sometimes we just have to sit back and enjoy it. You know, you just have to enjoy it. And it's not a typical month, December, right? You've got to, you, you're not going to be able to get as much done possibly as you would have in some other month of the year, possibly if you have kids or family or festivities going on, right? So just give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. If you have to put something off, nobody's going to die. Nobody's going to die. It's all good, you know. Um, if you need to still, you know, get that cash flow in and you aren't sure how to prioritize things, that's when you might want to reach out to someone like me. I'd be happy to make sure that you're on task, hold you accountable, and help get you focused on what you need to do scheduling your time and all that kind of thing. So the bright, shiny object syndrome and the procrastination whatever you want to call it, is not going to get you this holiday. So, or any time of the day, any year. So you can go to um, jumpstartyourmarketing.com and uh, get on my email list. Of course, you want to do that because I send out really great tips and resources and opportunities for you to grow your business. Um, but if you want to talk to me, just go to askcat.biz, askcat, K-A-T dot B-I-Z, and if you're interested in that publishing program, then uh, see the link below this email or this video wherever you're watching it. And uh, it's it's only happening one time though, so it's a it's not um, an ongoing thing. I will have it available on my website at some point under my products page. Uh, so if you're watching this way later than 2017, it's probably there. So go look at it. <laughs> All right, have a great day, everyone, and uh, stop being distracted. Go get focused.